You can assign a material to a static mesh in one of three ways. But first, let's get some static meshes to practice this on. First, I'm going to drag a cube. Let's reposition this. Drag a sphere. And also a cone. Now we have three static meshes we can practice our material assignment techniques on. The first one's the simplest. You have to first navigate to a material in your content browser. Here I'm going over to starter content and materials. And you can see these are all materials because they have a sphere icon and a green, a bright green line underneath them. So I'm just going to drag this and drop it on top of my static mesh. That's going to assign that material to this mesh here. Technique number two involves you first selecting the static mesh and then dragging the material. Now I can't do this here because this is covering part of my details panel here. So I'm going to click on the dock and layout button, which is going to make this a part of my user interface. Let's go back to materials. So first I've gone ahead and selected my sphere here. And then when I click a material and drag it, this blue halo appears around where I can basically drop this. So I'm just going to drop it here. And that has gone ahead and assigned this brick material to my sphere. The third technique, is mostly used when your project has a number of materials in it. So it becomes easier to just select and then assign it there. You want to first select your cone, select the material you want to assign to this cone. So in my case, I'll choose this concrete tiles material. And then you want to click on this leftward facing arrow here, which is going to use the selected asset, whatever you've selected in your content browser, it's going to use it over here in this material element slot here. So when I click this, it goes ahead and assigns the material there. These are the three techniques that you can use to assign materials to any static mesh. And remember, you can identify that this is a static mesh by looking in the outliner here under type, or if you find something in your content browser, such as if I go over to starter content and props, most static meshes, if not all, have this light blue line underneath them. And of course, additionally, you can also mouse hover on top of this to see static mesh written in brackets to the right of the assets name.